to start by giving our glory, honor, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekakadash, double honor to the elders of the apostles of the Great Millstone, salutation to the elect out there, wherever you may be. All right, I want to do a quick lesson through the Spirit. I want to read this verse in Psalms 20 and 7, just to start the, the uh, lesson off. And I'm going to play a video, then hit some more scriptures. All right. This is Psalms 27. Some trust in chariots and some in horses. But we will we will remember the name of the Lord our God, you see? Because a lot of people trust in their, their material things, like their cars, their wealth, you know. But we, the elect, Lord willing on one of them, we trust in the God, the God of our fathers, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You see, because he provides all of that stuff. We don't put our trust in that stuff because he knows what our heart needs. If he wants to bless us with that stuff, we'll have that stuff. But we don't show covetousness like a lot of these people out here. They trust in the, the, they trust in material things. You see, and I'm going to play this video and show you how these people. Let's go. You see, it says right here, it says. Let's look at it. Let me fix the, the lighting. It says, this lady, she collects guns, you see. She has a collection of AK-47 pistols, which shows you what? She trusts in her weapons. She trusts in what? Material things. Let's, let me play this video, then I'm going to hit some scriptures as I play the video. All right, let me go back. All right, let's see. All right, let's play video. What's up, YouTube? Yo, gang, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to have another part to that 2023 gun collection video. Um, if you have not checked out my other parts to this video, make sure that you do. You're probably wondering, oh, yeah, why, why, why are we doing this in parts here? We're doing this in parts because it's just too many to bring out at one time. So today's portion of it, or today's part, is going to be my pistols on the AK platform. So we're only going to talk about my AK pistols. We will join... You see, she has a collection of AK pistols, which shows you what? She's a carnal creature that trusts in her weapons. She don't put her trust in the Lord. Let's get a scripture. Because it sounds like to me... That she's deciding to live by the sword. Let's get a scripture on that. Let's see. Uh, let's see. All right, this is Revelation 13 and 10. He that lead it into captivity shall go into captivity, which is talking about those that led us into captivity, which are the Edomites and all these other nations. They're going to go into captivity. The Israelites are going to be on top, and they're going to be serving us as tributaries, and as workers, they're going to be as slaves. All right. He that kill it with the sword, which is the modern day gun and weapons, must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience and faith of the saints. You see. So that's what's going to that's 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 what's going to happen to those that live by the sword, just like her. You see. All right. Let me see. Uh, let's continue to play it or we will bring in my my Charles Daly Pack 9 chambered in 9mm. Okay, so up next, we are going to talk about this Pioneer Arms chambered in 762 by 39. Now, but that's the modern day woman for you, you see, because in the scriptures, a lot of women, they didn't they they decided to be carnal like job's wife told him when he was tr being tried by the lord she says doest thou retain thy integrity curse the most high and die that's what she told job because she didn't have faith you see women the modern woman they trust in carnal things like guns and jewelry and and houses and cars in the comfort of this carnal world they trust more in the things of this world than the thing than the spiritual things of the most high. You see, if it was up to them, they would truly, completely trust in, in the so-called white man, the devil. 
You see? Now, for this to be an underdog, I can tell you that it runs. We did a comparison between this and another um, pistol. If you have not checked that out, make sure that you go and check that out. Dracos, you hate them. Why, why, why? Because I'm an AK queen collector. And even though uh, they're not practical, but they work. In my opinion, um, I have to give them that much for it. Um, let's take that back a little bit. Grill, put it front sight, and your pig grill. Let's see how many guns she puts on her bed. It's also um, there for you. Micro Draco is the latest and the greatest. And um, I mean, does it work? This particular, oh, this magazine is so tight. She's on the fourth gun. <laughs> this particular Draco. We have the Draco Mini. Now this one holds some sentimental value near and dear to the heart because this year we're still dealing with a little crack right here. Very nice, chambered in 76, two by 30. All right, I count one, two, three, four, five, six guns. That shows you what, she's a fanatic of guns. She puts her trust in all those weapons that she have instead of putting her trust in the Lord. If I had to guess, I would say she's either a Christian or someone or or an atheist. You know, I don't I don't think she's she knows the truth. Like I say, when you give yourself just that little bit more run to work with when you're shooting that round, it makes it a lot more controllable. It makes it a lot. Z Pap 85 chambered in 556. Yes. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven guns. Thank you, Zastava, for giving us some caliber choices as far as that 556. You are more likely. Um, and this grip here, I do you see the collection that she has of just one of these, one type of her favorite gun? It's crazy. You women, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight guns. <laughs> you see? And the scriptures also say, she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. I'm pretty sure she's living in a lot of pleasure. Esau has trained these, trained our women well. Which she may be a tear, who knows? But if she's an Israelite, she has been manipulated by the serpent, just like Eve, going into his ways and doctrines and philosophies. I can't remember exactly what the name of this group is here, but it is so fitting in the. We have 92 Johnny Snow edition. This is what that looks like. Um, there's a screw down here. I just have to um, tighten that back up. But now imagine a person like this on the street trying to defend themselves and someone makes them angry and they get super emotional. You know, the, how women are on their uh, cycle or whatnot. And just imagine that she goes crazy and just starts shooting. And a lot of them, they don't really know how to shoot guns <laughs> like that. Man, she, you shouldn't be around her. She's dangerous. Look at all those guns. Wow. But it gives you two safety options. You have your bolt safety, and you also have a safety. We have that IWI Gal Okay, I'm going to stop the video right here. That's enough. We know that you have a lot of guns, you carnal creature. <laughs> you don't trust in the spiritual things of the Most High. You trust in the carnal things of Esau. The God of this world has blinded the minds of them that believe not. They blind it. They don't trust in the salvation of the Most High. They trust in their, the, the guns, the horses, the chariots. Let's see. Let's get another scripture. All right, this is Psalms 33. I'm going to start at 15. He fashioned, hold up. Let's see. Should I start at 15? Uh, 
I'll start at 14. From the place of his habitation, it's talking about the Most High, he looketh upon all the inhabitants of the earth. The place of his habitation, he looketh, on, looketh upon all the inhabitants of the earth. He fashioned their hearts alike. He considereth all their works. You see? There is no king saved by the multitude of a host. Let's look up that word host. Let's go into it. The word host. Let's see. It's a, uh, let's see. Strong's H2428. Chayil. 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 You see, for host. Let's see the words for host. A host can mean a uh, an army, man of valor, a host, forces, you see. She trusts in her forces, those weapons she have. Valiant, strength, you see. The strength, her strength is in her what? Weapons. You see, she trusts in her host and the multitude of all her weapons. You see, wealth, power. She trusts in the power of those guns that she has. And she don't put her trust in the in the Lord. All right, let's go back. You see? Even a king, he's not saved by a multitude of a host. You see? So what makes she what makes her think that she could be saved by that? You know why? Because she's blinded. She's a carnal creature. All right, let's read it again. There's no king saved by the multitude of a host, nor any person, especially this lady. A mighty man is not delivered by much strength. You see? Not even a mighty man can be delivered. No matter how strong he is. A horse is a vain thing for safety, neither shall he deliver by his great strength. Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy. You see, those that believe in the Lord and hope on his mercy, they're going to be saved. He's going to deliver them, not anyone that trusts in the sword, you see. And that's what she trusts in the sword. All right. Verse 19, to deliver their soul from death. To keep them alive in famine. Our soul waited for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. You see? Not a carnal gun. You see? And let's get one of the laws of the Israelites. Of our people. You see? Leviticus 24 and 7. 17. He that kill any man shall surely be put to death. You see? So the blood that you shed... You see, you're going, your blood is going to be shed because you got to pay for that. Kill the man. You see? All right, I'm going to end the lesson here. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shah, Bahashim, Rekakadash. Shalom.